All right, so it's all set up. Um, now, as a pro tip, if, if, if your project is growing a little slow, you can change the texture to two, uh, 2048, 4096, 1094, and that will speed things up if you go a little slower. It does have to reload. When you export, you can export at 4K. All right, so in your layers, you'll notice I've got all these options here. These are the basic options. Um, just changing one of these off, and you can kind of see that what what happens, and, and you can see that there's different uh, teeth settings here. Uh, so if you want different teeth, you can do that. The wardrobe is right here. There are two different wardrobes listed here. You can turn one off, turn the other on. We've got all the different skins as well, so you can turn one off, turn on the other. And the best thing is, of course, customization, because uh, these are already exported for you in, uh, in Unity. So let's just take skin 8 here. I'm going to make a duplicate. The command D will make a duplicate of that. Turn off skin 8. I'm going to turn on skin 9, or rename that to skin 9, and then open that up. Let me collapse this. You'll notice just a few options here. There's uh, the skin base, skin uh, spots, skin top, an HSL layer, hue saturation perspective. So if we just come in here, we can quickly just modify this. And one thing to notice is that all of the HSL layers are set to pass through, which means that it will, for the base color, which means the base color will pass through that layer. Strange that nothing's happening. So uh, you can play with that a little bit and see what that does. Okay, there we go. So it was just really dark before. Uh, so this is obviously nature cell for the non-spots. Uh, so we can go for a little blue look like that. And if you wanted to, it's, I'm putting a note here saying that there's an HSL inside um, because I know that you might want to change the spots. So I put that HSL here and there you can change the spots um, around if you'd like. Bring him down, saturation. Um, okay, so this is one of the spots, and then there's another HSL here. This is one of those uh, characters where there's a lot more HSL um, than than other characters because of how many um, options there are. There we go. So that's these sub spots over there. Um, you can modify. Um, let's see, any other HSL spots? Um, it doesn't look like it, but you can also, you know, go back to the original here and just change this color around. Um, it won't change the, you know, I'm, if I change this to blue, I'm not going to see blue here because there is the HSL. But if I turn that off, uh, I should see the native color. And if any of these, like right now, I'm wondering, okay, what the heck did I do here? What is this sub spots? HSL. Okay, I can turn that off. I see some changes on the map here. Uh, and then if I turn the skin base off, I can see, okay, that's the skin base. Spots. So clearly there's another spots on top. Um, because if I take, take off the base, then I still see spots. Turn off that. I still see spots. Turn off that. You know, and you can keep basically going up this uh, little... Um, chain to see, and there we go, skin top, um, and then there's spots at the top too. So you can go up the chain to see what every aspect uh, or every button does. So if you want to change that uh, gray or so, um, gold there, then you can go up here to this HSL and modify that. Looks like it's actually modifying everything. Um, you can adjust that if you only want to modify uh, one thing. I'm going to see this map right here. Um, oops. So this map, it looks like I already kind of set that for the sub spots here where you can modify um, let's see. Modify that a little bit. It doesn't look like it's having a huge effect. Just a minimal one. Um, okay, there we go. So that's our spots right there. Uh, there we go. If I want to change that, I can just come in here 
um, and go around here and, and change those around. Now you're able to adjust these spots as well. You're not limited to what it looks like here. Uh, you'll notice this mask here um, is is a is a is a uh, is the mask that's used to to make the spots. Um, clicking on it opens up all these, and I believe one of these will have a uh, yeah some options here on um, changing the level around the contrast. Uh, So you can adjust that a little bit. Um, looks like it was blurred. So you can do stuff there, and then if you if you follow this up, um, oops, we got the belly. It's another HSL area there. If you don't want it to be dark, you can change it to be something slightly different. Um, but the, basically, the idea is that you just go through and and this one is probably one of the most complicated ones only because there are so many layers for the different skin uh, add-ons, different spots and whatnot. Uh, other ones are, are much more straightforward. You just go through and, and turn off the things that you're like, okay, I want to I wanna adjust this orange one. Uh, so I know that's going to be, whoops, not there, that's going to be right here inside this spots copy one. Um, so I'm going to ignore the rest. I'm just going to open that up. Uh, let me just close these for now figure out where those spots are coming from right here spots HSL here um, and then and then you can go from there if you want to you can go to add a uh, black mask or, or actually in this case let's do a bitmap mask um, it's gonna take a texture so you can just find whatever texture you want in your project um, you know just choose one if you want there and then you go into your uh, grunges um, and just choose whatever you want just to um, oops. Just throw it where? right here. Select that fill, and then throw a grunge in here. Just drag and drop. And you can see what what each thing looks like. Um, depending on the map, you'll get different effects. This one has small dots. Um, this one will have larger dots, um, and 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 so on. And you know, from that, you can change. Kind of how this looks you can invert it looks like that may have been what was kind of there before um, see there's a, there's a fair amount of stuff you can do um, to customize that look around if you so choose um, I'm not sure what that is uh, you could also add a black mask and if you want to be very deliberate select a brush and let's say we just want to choose this basic card uh, and you can just go and start painting it around like this uh, right now the settings on the brush are um, spacing is set to 15 so oh you know what chances are this was a mask too. No. I, I was looking to paint uh, stuff here and, and look at the other grunges, but unfortunately, uh, I didn't notice that this was was here. So I'm just going to make this into a white mask. Now it's obviously all orange. It's copper look. Um, if I wanted to add, again go back in here, I'm going to add uh, a black mask. So now I can just paint on wherever I, I want these spots to be, which is really nice. 
You could even go, you know, if you want to get a little bit more detail here, this is all under this one folder. So if I add a new layer, a new fill layer, you're going to see it all white because all these are selected. Take off all of these, keep just the height, bring that up a little bit. Now you can make like little bumps or indentations and that will affect like the normal map. So it's this, you know, you can see those little bumps there, but I'm, I'm going to, let's just delete that. There's just a lot you can do with the, with the, with the masks and keep the masks on there. Um, and then if you want, let me show that bit mask, map mask again. We'll just choose one for now. Uh, this one, the more white there is, the more the you'll, uh, it'll be, um, used. Um, so we go back to this one where there's a lot of spots. Uh, select that fill. Bring this one right over there. Uh, now there's a little, you know, spots around, but it's not pure white. As you can see, there's a lot of gray in there. Um, you could just, you know, play with it and see what works for you. Um, if any at all. Uh, and so on. So there's a lot you can do with this. Um, you can always just turn things off if you don't want the spots at all. Uh, it's just a heck of a lot of stuff you can do with it. The best part is, it's non-destructive. So if you decide that you just messed everything up, you can just turn that off, turn back to something else, and make another duplicate and start from scratch. There's just so much you can do there. So, um, again, I think maybe this wasn't the best character to use for this, in a way, I think it was because it was so complicated when you get into the, the layers here. Um, because most other characters are much more simple. Uh, but for this one, you know, you you can do a lot with it, with Substance Painter. And you don't have to know the program uh, very much to do what I just did. It was really just dragging and dropping and, and turning things on and off and using the sliders on the hue, saturation, and lightness uh, option in order to, to make a more unique thing. At the end, just do your export. I don't know if my Unity 5 Custom comes with it, uh, but in your configuration, take a screenshot here. This is my configuration. Nope, that's for that's another preset. Uh, this is my configuration for the Unity 5 Custom, and this basically pr uh, exports maps that are ready for HD RP with this metal AO height and rough map. Um, HDRP isn't just having these textures, there's more to it, but these textures will work in any HDRP project. So. Uh, and then you click export to export uh, and then you're done. So have a great day.